Hello tankers! In today's episode we'll be telling you the latest news on alterations. We'll also be sharing with you an anti-life hack and telling you about Tankers Day celebrations. Over the past few weeks one question has been on everybody's lips. What's up with the new turrets you mentioned a few vlogs ago? Are you working on them? Yes, the rocket launcher is already in development. In fact, right now our programmers are focused on an important task. They are working out the rocket's behavior and adding the data to our physics engine. This is the most important and time-consuming part of the development process. The appearance of the rocket launcher will be added later on, when the final gameplay aspects of the turret have taken a shape. Great news! The long-awaited Tanky Online downloadable client has finally been released. Make sure you only get it from the official Tanky Online website. If anyone gives you a different link, do not trust them, because they might hack your account. So download the client right after you finish watching this vlog. We are sure you'll love it. By the way, this is only the first version of the client, so it does not contain the options of customize controls or manage multiple accounts. But don't worry, those functions will be added in a future update. Some time ago we told you about alterations for turrets. The development of alterations is at a crucial stage. Our developers are finalizing their work on the major part of the mechanic itself, and our game designers have already come up with a list of the devices and respective prices that will form the first batch of alterations. As we had already explained, all of the alterations fall into one of four categories. For M0 the alterations will be purely cosmetic, such as changing the color of your projectiles. For M1 alterations will offer slight gameplay changes. For M2 the gameplay changes will be more significant. And for M3… well, it's still a secret. With the first release we are planning on adding 11 alterations, one for each turret. Some will be for M1s, while the others will be for M2s. Turrets will have a number of dedicated slots for alterations depending on their modification level. Here are a few examples. For Ricochet you will be able to increase the speed and range of your projectiles while sacrificing reload time. Or you will be able to increase the range of freeze, but your area of attack will be narrower. And now a little bit about prices. Alterations for M1 turrets will cost 50,000 crystals each, while those for M2 will cost 100,000 crystals each. Price tag is a bit high, so players will be able to rent alterations to decide whether they suit them or not. Alterations will be available for rent in the shop for the price of a small pack of crystals. There's a still a lot of work to be done, but our developers are considered that they will be able to have the first testing version in September. Let's wish them good luck and continue to wait patiently. Time for another life hack, except this time it's going to be an anti-life hack. One of the most popular hacks that everybody keeps sending us is how to log into the game when the servers are full. Well, that is bad advice. When you log in, the game has a special mechanism that will send you to a less loaded server that is also good fit for your rank. This mechanism keeps the load distributed evenly across all physical servers. This is why players who insist to join RU1 and RU2 suffer the most lag. Therefore, our advice is to log into the game using our downloadable client and play on less loaded servers, which will give you a better gaming experience. In our last episode we started a new contest. You had to find yourself in one of our vlogs and send the badge to the vlog account, including the details of the episode. Well, we are no longer accepting gifts. We've received almost 2000 badges and a tangled turret. The next step is to check them and that will take some time. We'll be checking every gift and picking the winners. The crystals will be sent out next week, so please be patient. Video of the week. 
Last episode we asked you to participate in head spinners race. You had to get from this point to this point on the madness map as fast as possible while continuously spinning your turret. We have two winners, one in the open category without equipment restrictions. The second one is the way we showed it in our vlog, that is using the smoky turret. The theme for the next week is an epic battle moment on the opposition map. Show us some crazy stuff. Well, here we are. As you all know, Tanker's Day is celebrated on the second week of September. Here's what you can expect. All throughout Saturday, all standard hulls and protective modules will be at 50% off. On Sunday, all standard turrets and paints will be at 50% off. And throughout the celebrations, you'll be able to send your tanker friends an in-game gift created especially for this tanker's day. We expect to have two exciting days of festivities, and we hope you will join us in the celebrations. That's it for today, guys! Make sure you celebrate Tanker's Day with us and don't forget about the secret code hidden somewhere in this vlog. Goodbye! Last week we asked you to guess how many wasps would be destroyed with 4 shots from an M1 railgun. The correct answer is 3. Let's meet our winners and watch the next question.